Ok. Four syllables. Fash and no no. Oh. How's school? Anything happened? Well, Dad, for starters, I made up a boyfriend because my two best friends felt sorry for me. And secondly, I am never going to be kissed! Nothing. Ah, uh, the shirt's not that bad, is it? Oh, I mean, really? It's one of Anna's designs. Anna is Dad's latest girlfriend. She's about four years old, looks like a stick, and she treats me like a disease. Dad? It's not a shirt, it's an off-cut from a circus tent. Love you, Al. Mum, <laughs> why aren't you here to help me? <laughs> I suppose I already know what you'd say. Tell the truth. See, I told you. The girl's a two-faced liar. She says she's our friend, yet she lies like a dog. Traitor. Lying traitor. 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 I can't tell the truth. The truth stinks. Hey, babe. I had this fab idea. Check this. Me and Greg, Nadine and Liam, you and Dan, Friday night at the cinema. Triple day and a snogging competition. Friday? Um, I'm not sure. Long, long week. Oh, too late. These babies are already paid for. OK. I, we, we'd love to come. Me and Dan. Dan and me. Great. <laughs> girls, girls, excuse me, but the hunk's here. This is Mr. Green, official hunkiest teacher. In fact, the only remotely hunky teacher at our school. And even better, he teaches art, my best subject. And he smells of peaches. Hi, class. OK, today I'm going to set you off drawing some self-portraits. Now, important thing to remember about good portraits is they tell us something about the person. The person? I'm a person who's just agreed to go on a date with a non-existent boyfriend. Unless I can get cutie boy to ask me out by Friday. I've got as much chance of that as I have of marrying Prince William. Is it me or do I sound as desperate as I feel? Neither do I. Perhaps it's fate dragging us together like in a Hollywood film. I've just been to the nature park. It's great. I help after school. I'm making a toad-friendly environment. Toads? Nice, Dan. Real nice. Nice outfit, too. It's not exactly what I wanted to look like when we met again. You think I'm a geek as it is? No. Hey, Dan, all the boy bands are in wellies this year. I'm so chuffed to see you again. I tried the phone number you gave me on holiday a few times, and it was an old lady called Lillian. Maybe you read it wrong. The least you could do is say something nice. We did have a great time on holiday, didn't we? Well, yeah, but I'm older now. Yeah, like two weeks, one day, 16 hours and 370 seconds older. People change, Dan, and that whole counting the time thing is a little worrying. That number I gave you, um, people sometimes write down a six instead of a naught. 
You can ring me, OK? Dad, get me the keys. Why? Duh, so I could get in. How about knocking on the door like everyone else? Great. Make yourself at home, Anna. Spread out. yourself as you are. And what are you, Ellie? Still haven't told the truth. Hello? Hi, it's me. You're right, I just read it wrong. What are you up to? Oh, self-portraits for art. Bad ones. Cool. What are you doing at the weekend? Busy. Really busy or just push off damn busy? Both. But doing what? Oh, losing my friends, probably. So either your story or homework. Well, tomorrow at about 7pm, I'm going to be completely humiliated at the multiplex. It's a date thing and I kind of haven't got one and, you know, gooseberry time. Oh. Don't ask me why, but I told him all about QT Boy. All about Nadine and how I kind of feel a bit left out now she's got Liam. All about how Magda's got a boyfriend as well. The thing is, Dan might be a total dork, but he said... No one should go out with someone just for the sake of it. And he said... We've all got a special person out there waiting for us. Kind of good, eh? But he's still a total dork. Night, Dan. And thanks. Night, Ellie. Anytime. Yes! 